braved the perils of the sublevel. Yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and associates. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painless. Negotiations are not possible. A deal has been made with anxious people. People you do not cross. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. Here you saved Joran. Our many settlers would help us, salvagers. You're all right by me. I hear you saved Joran. I hear you saved Joran. You saved Joran, huh? Hope the reward was worth it for saving that sad excuse for a salvager. I hear you saved Joran. It's you again. Uh, thanks for helping me out down there. I still have those Jedi artifacts I found for you. If you don't want them, I can sell them to Dorala. I found three things down there. One some sort of crystal, and the others look like lightsaber parts. If you give me a thousand credits, you can have it all. That'll be enough for me to get off this rock. No returns on this, you're stuck with what you buy. Doesn't work that way. Maybe it's worth a lot more than a thousand credits and you make off real good. Maybe it's a lot less and I make off good. 
<laughs> a pleasure doing business with you. Now I can finally get passage back home. I hope that junk is worth it to you, I really do. Come back anytime. It'll take me a while to get everything set straight. for helping me out down there. I still have those Jedi artifacts I found for you. If you don't want them, I can sell them to Dorala. Ah, the Traveler has returned. I hope the Dentalene is providing suitable distraction and entertainment for you. So, what should we talk about? What? Who is that? Oh, it's you. You go down into the sub-levels yet? Or did you suddenly develop some sense? It's a shame about them. Have any luck getting to their bodies? I figure there's about no chance you'll succeed, but the reward is still open. Yeah, you managed to find them down there? You're tougher than you look. I have 1,000 credits for their bodies and their personal effects. yourself. But, uh, who else will want a couple of corpses? Smells like another salvager's come to our camp. Vacate, mud licker. Don't make me tell you again. Ease off, Nalik. There's better sport than this one. 
I don't need help to take out a mud licker. Yeah, I'm talking to you. You've given me all the excuse I need, outsider. You're dead now. Yes? I am listening. Can I help you? Just trying to make a living. At least there's still people in the galaxy who know our value. It's not glamorous work, but a man has to eat, right? I'm not paid to talk to you. Move along. I'm not paid to talk to you. Move along. You're still around here? Really? Like what? Forget it, Outsider. I'm not gonna fall for any of your salvager schemes. You've wandered into the wrong camp. You got the look of a warrior, and we got all the blasters we need. If you're looking for work too, just take a trip spaceward. We don't need any more competition. Got it? Then maybe we can get along just fine. I know about the thief. The amount of noise the settlers have made over that thief, you'd think he stole their whole planet. Before you ask, I have no idea who the thief is. It's not one of us. If we wanted something that bad, we'd just take it. What if we do? They're practically begging to be pushed around. You've seen them, right? They're weak. You sound like a flaming Jedi. I didn't just mean their weapons, I meant their character. They're very quick to blame everyone but themselves for their problems. So the galaxy has dealt them a bad hand. They should ante up and get back in the game. The administrator is different. It's just another spaceport to me. We've been here too long for my tastes. And the settlers... It galls me to think we fought wars to protect Giska like them. They don't do anything to help themselves, and they don't know how to... how to take responsibility. They're on their own, and either they should start working and stop whining, or else they're in for a tough ride. We have to live somewhere. Something those settlers don't seem to understand. That flaming administrator and her cat hound Zeron can't keep their noses out of our business. There's a natural order to things that they just don't seem to get. They'll learn. Just make sure these settlers know their place. The Republic isn't going to send a single trainee to help this planet. She's got spirit, but she seems to focus most of her effort on trying to get us off this planet. Terena has to learn that we aren't moving. I have time to kill, and talking about Dantooine just irritates me. Most of us are veterans of the Jedi Civil War. Some even fought in the Mandalorian Wars. A lot of soldiers have been looking for a place in the galaxy. The really skilled usually wind up here. A sentient by the name of Asgore. He was an elite trooper for Malak during the Jedi Civil War. He knows how to wage war. We had a contract with the Republic, doing some work in the Outer Rim. But they scaled back. And we were some of the casualties. Now the Republic isn't hiring anymore. I hear they have no credits. We find ways to divert ourselves. A lot of us find odd jobs. There are many more mercs around than what you see on Dantooine. We're spread out. I don't suppose you're here to hire us. It's been a long time since we've had a paying job. Some of us are getting jumpy. What does the militia have to say to us? Any of our men get into trouble? 
I know that, but keep it quiet. What did Zeron say? If he didn't tell you, I won't either. Could you just tell me what he said? I think that Zeron is three cards short of a Pazak deck. You can tell him you've delivered your message. Thanks. Now get out of here. You're still around here? Really? Like what? What makes you think that? A secret message? What's the message? And you came to tell me that? Even if you're telling the truth, that doesn't sound like anything important. Zeron might be playing a joke on you, or trying to stir trouble over here. I'm not interested in either, outsider. than they used to be. I'd stay away from the eastern side of the plains. And now that I think about it, stay away from the west, too. The west is filled with cat hounds. Dantooine is in a sad state these days. Mostly because the Republic has left us to fend for ourselves. I gave the Republic the best years of my life, and I understand they're under pressure. But I think that they'd be able to spare at least something to help us out. All we get is sympathy. Some law and order, for one thing. Take what I'm doing right now. A couple weeks back, there was an accident here. One of the western French farmers was coming to coon down his swoop with a load of atmospheric sensors. We found him dead and his swoop bike all banged up. I've come back a couple of times to try to figure out if that's what really happened. 
I'm one of the Kunda militia. They need all the able bodies they can get. I was a Republic custom inspector before I came back home. Now I'm the closest thing the militia's got to an investigator. I do. The Kinrath are dangerous. But as long as you stay on your swoop bike, there's no way they should catch you. I've carefully searched this area and haven't found anything. So maybe our man just got sloppy. We really need those atmospheric sensors. But Dantooine is temperate. There is no need for atmospheric sensors except for seasonal data collection. Huh? It's just important we get it back. They're expensive pieces of equipment, and we can't afford to replace them. Regardless, I don't suppose you'd be willing to keep an eye out for something. I just really need it. It's important. Please come to me if you find any of the atmospheric sensors, and I'll pay you a thousand credits for each one you find, whether they're broken or not. No idea whatsoever. I figure it's a real long shot you'd ever spot one. But I also figure it wouldn't hurt to ask. Something you need of me? What is it? Give me an opening! I'm here. I am ready. Thank <laughs> you. 